couple of weeks ago I decided to clear all the bottom branches off these three conifer trees because they were stopping all the light from getting into our veg patch and we wanted to keep the trees obviously because there's a lot of birds nesting there and also they do provide a little bit of shelter for our chickens as well so as you can see I've trimmed off all these little branches now all of these were done with a chainsaw the thicker ones and I used an axe to do the thinner ones but some of the work involved me going up a ladder and I wasn't very happy about using the chainsaw up a ladder for reasons that I'll explain later so what I decided to do was to buy one of these which is a pruning saw now this one is made by Oregon it's a 13 inch curved blade and it's made with Japanese high carbon steel with a chrome plate to protect it from rust now the teeth are impulse hardened and the taper ground so that they last a long time it's got 6.5 teeth per inch and these things are highly effective at cutting branches shrubs dry wood all sorts of applications and they cut very very quickly so if you're used to using a chainsaw and you haven't got one of these things you might find that it makes life a lot easier to get one for doing the smaller stuff so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this in operation and you can make your own mind up whether you think it's worth it or not now this is a mid priced so I think I paid 35 pounds for it something like that a lot of people swear by the silky saws they're Japanese saws as well but they're about 66 pounds for a similar saw and I decided to go with Oregon because I trust Oregon I've got a lot of their gear and it is always good stuff so let's have a look and see what this thing is capable of so this is a dead tree it needs to come down and normally I would just use a chainsaw for this but having actually been on the wrong end of a chainsaw a few years ago I try and avoid using it as much as possible so I'm going to try cutting this branch off and it's about four inches with this Oregon saw and the saw actually cuts on the pull stroke which I think makes it a fair bit safer so remember this is going to be hard to cut because it's dead and cutting on the pull stroke I really quite like now I need to be careful that this doesn't fall onto my camera but I'm not finding this particularly difficult at all and you can see it's about to go now there we go so that's actually five inches or thereabouts looking at it very very simple it's really easy and I just think it's I just think it's so much safer than using a chainsaw so the saw comes in a sheath which can actually attach your belt and you can put straps around your legs if you want to do that now there's actually a locking mechanism on the sheath allows you to take it out one-handed I'll just cut this branch off because this one needs to come down and it's so easy to do jobs like this with this saw it is so easy and it's so much safer than using a chainsaw we've got this eucalyptus tree that's fallen down and the majority of the work will have to be done with a chainsaw but there are branches up on the top there that I want to take off first that are fairly small and there's no way I want to climb around about on that tree there with a chainsaw so my intention is to do as much work as I possibly can using this saw and then finish up with a chainsaw and I'll do a little bit of cutting with this now this tree is still alive it's still connected to the roots at the bottom there although it is dying uh, and as I said it's a eucalyptus tree so it's a hardwood tree and I'm going to cut some branches off and we'll see how well it does now you can see clearly that this tree is alive I need to be careful to pinch the saw when the branch moves so I'm going to go from the bottom and go upwards a good way as much as I can 
I'm finding that quite difficult now it's actually getting trapped so the branch is moving and then I'm going to go down from the top now I can hear that there's movement in that now so I'm going to move to the side slightly it might spring back towards me There we go. Now that was easy really when you consider the size of that. I found it much easier to cut on the pull truck but I think it's obvious from this that you can do an awful lot of work without buying a chainsaw It's not a small branch, it is a brilliant piece of kit. Earlier on I mentioned that I'd been on the wrong side of a chainsaw. In 2006, when we first moved into this place, I was working in what we called the fruit cage, which was an area that was cordoned off with a cage that was predominantly made of chicken wire with just branches that were used to hold the chicken wire in place. Took my chainsaw in there and I was cutting one of the branches and it was actually next to the chicken wire. The chicken wire was, say, about that far away from where the chainsaw was. I was cutting it with the chainsaw and the branch moved and it pinched the chainsaw, which forced the chainsaw to move forwards. The chainsaw hit the chicken wire and in a split second, and it literally was a split second, it shot up and it hit me in the head. And I didn't even think it had hurt me at the time until as I was looking down, because I threw the chainsaw on the floor when it happened, I noticed that my glasses were starting to fill up with blood and I had a huge cut in the corner of my head coming down to my eye. It only needed 13 stitches. You had to x-ray it to make sure that I'd not gone through the skull. But luckily I hadn't. I was very, very lucky. And after that, I've been so careful using a chainsaw. I've got all the gear for chainsawing. But one of these things, it's far better than using a chainsaw if you can use it, it's much much safer and I think it's a smashing piece of kit now there are all sorts of saws to choose from, they come in with a straight blade, they come with a curved blade one of the advantages of this one is that the tang goes all the way through, a lot of them the tang finishes about there on the blade there's only maybe an inch or two of the tang going into the handle but this one the tang goes all the way through and you can buy replacement blades and keep the handle which makes it a little bit cheaper but I think this is an absolutely smashing piece of kit. If you're like me where you live on an area where you've got lots of woodland or you've got shrubs, bushes, that type of thing, and you're pruning it, because this will do just about anything apart from large stuff. It is really easy to use. It is dangerous in itself. And in all honesty, I should have been wearing gloves. I left the house without them when I came down and I was too lazy to go back up and get them. But if you're considering buying one of these things, I don't think you'll go wrong with this Oregon blade, it's made by a manufacturer you can trust, 
very efficient and easy to use and these things are designed to last a long time so I think it's the sort of thing that most people will only purchase once and it will last them the rest of their lives unless they're using it all the time so I think it's a smashing piece of kit I hope you found this review useful and thank you very much for watching